Special member request, we have Glare, Blank, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play through all the different sections right at the beginning. After that, I'll go back through and give the full explanation for everything. Do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And now, let's give it a try. Okay, so standard tuning on this, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we're just going to initially be bouncing between two kind of interesting chords here. Uh, first one, B major 9. And uh, we do this voicing here. We'll be at the 7 on the E with the 6 on the A. All right, and then the 8 on the D and have a 6 on the G. Okay, nice kind of clean vibes there. You know, dump on the the reverb, maybe even a little bit of chorus too, if you like. All right, and with this, we're just kind of doing a loose kind of shuffle strum. All right, and from there, essentially, we just kind of drop down a set, really. Uh, we just leave out the six string there, so you can just keep that off, and then uh, we just switch to six on the A, keep that eight on the D, Keep the six on the G, but we also add the six on the B now. And then this becomes like an E flat seven suspended second. Right, so we're just strumming that out the same way. Just bouncing between those two chords. All right, verse gets going here, and you know everyone comes in, and the, we get a, little, a bit more of like an overdrive, fuzzed out 
vibe going on, so you can get the gain in overdrive going there. And we kind of just switched to more like power chord style. So we're still doing that that B, but it's just a B power chord. So we just do the seven E with the nine on the A and D. Just kind of strumming it out the same way, same amount of time. And then we just move to the E flat power chord. So six on the A with the eight on the D and G. Right, and it's just those two power chords throughout the, the verse. And now we have uh, a second, just more like lead guitar going over the top of things. And it's just picking through that same kind of, uh, you know, clean with the reverb, you know, no overdrive, a little bit of chorus on there. And it's just picking through these cool little uh, arpeggios here. And initially we'll do something like this where we were at the six on the G, then an eight on the D, come down, hit an open B, back to the eight on the D. do that twice and then we just switch down to the single string bit where we're at the sixth fret on the B and we're just picking this out eighth note style like alternate picking just and you want a good you know 16 picks on this right, bump it up to seven for about half dozen or so and just right back down to the six for you know another half dozen eight picks or so. And once we finish the verse, that final time through with that lead guitar, uh, instead of, there's only a slight difference there, instead of going, you know, from the six to the seven, back to the six, we go six, seven, and keep it going up to the nine. With the interlude section, everything kind of gets a little more chilled out a bit, uh, almost reverts to you know the very beginning of the song, where we just kind of have the those clean, clean-ish you know no overdrive, but we still have the reverb and all that good stuff uh, of the B major nine shape that we were using, and we just kind of strum it, and then we can you know pick some of that lead stuff within this chord pretty easily. So uh, basically, we just strum it, and then we do a little bit where we do. Eight on the G, back off to the six. All right, it does that a couple times. And then it'll switch to that E flat uh, seven sus two. All right, and with this one, we can pick through it a little bit where uh, we hit the nine on the B, come off to kind of some stuttered six frets on the B, just about three of them couple closer and then just finish on the eight of the G right, and just go through those two chords like that a couple times and uh, we finish it by doing this kind of signature lead with, that we'll hear again uh, in the future here and it's basically it comes up to nine on the high E to nine B and then off to the six on the high E Right, and then that'll get us into our kind of extended outro section now. So now that we're in our outro, uh, there's going to be quite a few guitars laying over each other now. Uh, that initial uh, lead guitar comes through, and it's doing that that little uh, lead riff that I was mentioning, where you know we do our nine E nine B to six E, and then it'll it'll from here on out finish at seven on the B. All right, it just kind of holds out a moment, and then it does uh, this little finishing where it goes seven on the B, holds it a moment, nine back to seven, and then just repeats that that whole thing. And meanwhile, the first guitar that's just doing kind of the power chords at this section with the more overdriven uh, fuzz tone. Uh, it it kind of switches its progression now. It starts at that E flat with the 6A and 8 on the D and G. All right, move 
moves down now to a new chord, the F sharp or G flat if you prefer, the, at the second E4 on the A and D. And then finishes at a B. And since we're already down here, we can just hit it here with the two on the A, four on the D and G. And it just cycles through those three chords throughout the, the remainder of the song. All right, and uh, gradually here we get, you know, more lead guitars laying over the top of each other. And they're kind of doing a, a same style. Um, the first one, it does, you know, some trim picking. So, you, you know, you kind of need to get that technique down a bit. And all it is is just, you know, alternate picking, trim picking, whichever uh, name you prefer. It's just basically going back and forth at like that 16th note pace. All right, and we're just kind of moving notes here. Nothing crazy. It's just more about the picking, I guess. And it starts at the 6th fret, All right, holds that for a moment, comes up to the 9, 11, back down to the 9. All right, and then it comes all the way up to 13, and it gives it this, you know, about a half bend, picking it at the same time. Comes back down, just releases it back to just the normal 13. 9, 11. All right, and then that's pretty much that lead. It just repeats that throughout. Then towards the end, we get a third uh, lead over the top of it. And it's just kind of doing that same style, but higher, in a different spot. So it's coming up to 18 on the high E here. Hangs out there for quite a bit. Drops down to 13, and then comes up to 16. And just repeats that a couple times. <laughs> 